hello guys welcome to our youtube channel today we'll be setting up this low power solar wi-fi camera it's actually an ip67 rated device it comes in two-way audio and we'll be teaching you how to install it to the app so let's get straight to the unboxing so yeah we have the device the low power solar wi-fi bullet camera outdoor ip67 rated no electricity required to install it so here we have the manual as you can see the user manual let's put that aside we have the wireless antenna and here we have the, the camera stand and we have the um charger the cable usb cable is actually a usb micro usb cable like what you see on most android phones now and some screws and to ease up your installation yeah yeah they are the lithium batteries um, they are not pre-installed so they cannot get weak and here is the camera itself as you can see here is the solar panel that will power the camera let's take a look at that um, yeah so there's the camera lens and the IR lens or the IR light sorry which enables the night vision so now the first step would be to installing the lithium batteries into this camera so as you can see they don't come pre-installed because so that they can't get weak over time so we'll install it and once a once you put as you can see it has a slot for tf card or sd card as you may know it and usb usb port so once you install the batteries it will make a sound yeah that's the sound saying the camera is not ready to begin pairing so now you can just cover that up or screw it when you want to do the final mounting and stuff. so now let's get into the abyss as you can see we are using this tutorial on an iphone so first step would be to open app store so once you open app store you search for the application called u bell u bell together no spacing just u bell so once you type that out yeah that's the app the first app there so the first step will be to download it so while i'm waiting for it to download now we've downloaded it so now we'll launch this app on the iphone so yes yeah, you allow any permission is asking for so now that you've launched it you have to click add new device then you go to setup device so you just tap there now it will show you this camera now what you do you bring the camera close to the phone so it can pair up it's because it's going to make a noise or a sound so now you have to put in your wi-fi password which is the wi-fi network you want to configure this ip camera to so you input the password and after you've done you press ok tap ok sorry and it will make this sound so once it keeps making this sound you have to keep the camera and the phone that you are using to configure close so once it's done to come to this interface then you impute a password any default password of your choice so I'm just going to type in admin12345 though you must not use this password it's, you can use any password of your choice but make sure you use a password that you can always remember that's very important or else you'll be locked out of this wi-fi camera and you may have to reset it so we're just going to confirm the password okay, everything looks good then we'll tap finish so now now first of all we have to select non-mainland china if you are not in china obviously so now we'll 
the device is set up we will now tap the device to view it so now yeah here's the device as you can see there's my hand so and the beautiful thing about this thing is that it can record to your phone memory you can do two-way audio you can also take pictures using all from your application and you can right now the speaker is muted if you want to hear audio like I just unmute it so right now I'm hearing audio or sounds from where the camera is and I can also talk back by tapping the microphone icon so right now if you want to take a picture you just tap the camera icon and if you want to record to your phone memory space you can just do that using see it's recording right now and once you're done it's going to save to your phone gallery so for more tutorial like this leave a like and please hit the subscription button below thank you i'll see you in the next video